I, Leo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a uh, money and career tarot reading for the month of September 2021. Thank you so much for joining me and I do want to remind you in this moment to go ahead and like the video. Do leave me a comment about your situation down below, some emojis or how the reading resonates. And don't forget to of course subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't done so already. Now we're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the Soul's Journey uh, deck. As I do the initial shuffling, keep in mind general monthly money and career read for the sign of Leo. I'm a Leo son if you're new to the channel, welcome. But take what resonates and leave what doesn't uh, given as general. And um, excuse me, as my heart races. But as well, check out your other placements within your chart for more messages. And uh, if you're here to hear about a Leo, more than welcome to join. And I'm accepting requests at this time for personal readings, so just uh, shoot down to the description box where you will see the options pricing in my email. So just reach out and I'll get that started for you, okay? For Leo, let's see, this is an intuitive read, so keep that in mind. Money and Career, September 2021. All right. We have Patience, Purpose, and Imagination. We're actually just going to go with the two, patience and purpose. So patience, I accept that everything happens in divine order. I need to, in the month of September, have patience with oneself and with the people, the energies that surround you, as well as the uh, career choice you decide to wrap yourself up with throughout the month, whether it's the same one or a new one. Feeling as if uh, uh, people could get on your nerves, or you just need to have an immense amount of patience in one way, shape, or form. And purpose. I know what I am here to do. And so there's going to be a true focus in the month of September on your overall purpose. A lot of you Leos might be moving uh, closer towards uh, discovering what your true purpose is in your life um, or feeling as if you're getting closer to achieving that true purpose if you already had a general idea as to what it was. Um, it, you having patience with yourself as you move towards this purpose, this sort of fulfillment and completion that you desire at this time. All right, so we're going to continue and pull six tarot cards from the Light Sears tarot deck. Bear with me as I do some shuffling. All right, let's see. Leo, money and career, September 2020, 2021, of course, excuse me, as a spirit makes me struggle. Just a moment. For Leo. Okay. Okay. With the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, there's a feeling that a lot of you Leos will be doing a bit of reflecting or finding yourself drifting to the past, thinking about old jobs, old situations. You might be revisiting a type of job that you had in the recent past or finding yourself um, thinking about past financial choices in one way, shape or form and trying to do a better job of making better choices or finding yourself making a similar purchase that you made in the recent past or it could be as far back, um, however it pertains to you. So with the Five of Pentacles to begin the six card spread, you begin the month of September feeling quite left out in a situation. For a lot of you Leos, it doesn't pertain to your career situation, but for some of which it is you feeling a bit out of place in your work environment, or just simply stressing about your finances in one way, shape or form. Uh, being uh, pushed by the universe towards a new opportunity or just towards a level of uh, security and happiness and just needing to open the door and be like, I deserve uh, financial security, I deserve this new opportunity or I deserve to make the best out of what I'm wrapped up in at this time. Again, it's going to vary from Leo to Leo. You'll see a lot of fives in the beginning of the month or just the month in general and it's a way of telling you to accept change right? Whether it's a change within that current opportunity you're wrapping yourself up in, gaining a new side hustle or simply moving towards a whole new career choice in general and to embrace that change uh, wholeheartedly. The star. And so you make your way to the middle of the first half of the month and there's a focus on you being a star in the making or simply your healing uh, that you've been making your way through recently. It doesn't feel like it's the beginning of the process but a continuation of the process uh, you know of your healing once again 
but just you needing to um, be patient with oneself once again as you go through this necessary healing from past jobs that were difficult, feeling like a lot of you were taken advantage of in one way, shape, or form, or just the financial struggles you've been through in one way, shape, or form. And to remember that everything's going to improve or just get better eventually, even if it doesn't feel like it in the first uh, half of the month. Staying focused on your, your goals that you have at hand, uh, have in place, uh, feeling like as you make your way into the second part of the month, you'll start to put more financial and career goals into place as you, again, get closer to this purpose. But as we make our way to the uh, third card, you make your way to wrap up the second, the first half of the month, rather. And there's a true focus on you changing uh, the death and rebirth card, uh, going through a rebirth in one way, shape, or form, or feeling like your career is going through a rebirth. Or for a lot of you, Leo's, you hit rock bottom financially, and it's time to kind of go through a rebirth in that sense. You know, build yourself, your situation from the ground up. Uh, you know, planting those seeds, you know, getting those roots set in place, but you just uh, doing what you have to to finish up the first half of the month, to implement more self-care, to shine from within, to uh, get closer to that purpose as you feel you can almost taste it or put your finger on it, but don't have a full image of it, right? It feels as if there's a puzzle piece or two that's just lacking at this point in the month. And you just feeling as if a part of you is kind of hidden from the world and it might be you sort of desiring a new career choice or a new sort of uh, level of fulfillment in one way, shape or form, but just feeling a bit secretive in one way, shape or form. It might be you sort of, being very secretive about the healing you're going through or sort of uh, financial struggles you're having at this time or changes that you want to implement once again. But just remember, level of secrecy is totally okay, um, especially when you're going through healing and changing and going through this rebirth stage as you have patience with oneself and get in touch with your true life, destiny, and purpose. All right? And we make our way to the second half of the spread, but we have the Six of Swords. And so you begin the second half of the month and there's a true focus on past situations that you've had to sail away from uh, past jobs, whether you regret them, uh, re regret walking away from them or starting them in general or whether or not they, you still feel as if that was the right choice for you. Um, some of you Leos will begin the second half of the month walking away from a job that no longer works for you or career choice in general. Um, being aligned with the Five of Pentacles a good amount of you are leaving a situation that you've outgrown or don't feel like you fit in uh, with anymore. Um, feeling as if people around you don't sort of click with you, you're on different wavelengths so they just don't resonate with you. And allowing for yourself to sail away from uh, old habits as well, regardless of whether it's you in this moment of the month, you know, walking away from a position or a career choice. To allow for old habits that have hindered you or held you back from a certain level of success to be uh, put aside and sort of, uh, you know, let them be, right? We're moving towards a healthier, happier, more successful version of Leo. And it just feels like a lot of you will be going through a bit of emotion. Uh, you'll have some emotions resurface to begin the second half of the month, just as, as much as you would in the beginning of the month. All right, but we're moving on to the wheel. And so you make your way to the middle of the second half of the month and you feel as if you're starting to make progress and however, whatever goals you're trying to accomplish at this point, complete at this point, excuse me, as I struggle, feeling as if the wheel starts to turn for you. It might feel as if the things start to fall into place in a smoother way. And if it feels a little bit rocky, it's just this reminder coming through from the universe that luck is on your side, that you can take a risk with a new opportunity or within your current career or choice to see the results you desire at this time. But being aligned with the star, it's a true reminder in the middle of the second half of the month that the healing you've been going through is purposeful, it's necessary to make your way towards uh, the success or the progress that you're experiencing or starting to see before your very uh, beautiful Leo eyes in the middle of the second half of the month once again. But allowing yourself to once again leave old habits behind or do what you have to, to improve your process, your uh, daily routine in order to um, see that wheel continue to move or move even faster, right? To see the yourself get closer to your purpose, your goals, what you, what you desire at this time. Again, a lot of you at a level of financial security. 
And it's just it, the huge reminder comes through or a focus within the middle of the second half of the month to uh, examine one's uh, daily routine and to remember that, you know, if you want to change up your life as a whole, you have to change up your daily routine, okay? To, again, see the progress to get closer to your purpose and goals. Um, we're finishing up the six cards for the two of the swords. And so you make your way to wrap up the month in general, in the second half as well, and you find yourself feeling a little bit um, out of the loop or feeling as if you still don't fully see the way or what's meant to um, to happen in the near future. A lot of you starting a new job within the month and not really knowing how it's going to proceed or wanting to sort of foresee yourself succeeding in a, in a way that you haven't in the near future but not sure if it's going to happen sooner rather than later. And you needing to and being pushed by the universe to trust a, the level of mystery in your life, in your career, your finances, and to expect the best rather than the worst, right? But feeling like there's a lot of energies around you that are a bit chaotic or a bit overwhelming, um, trying to sort of uh, swap them away or do what you can to uh, push past um, whatever annoyances do surround you within your work environment or sort of uh, judgments or um, critiques when it comes to your financial situation or the progress you've made up until this point. But being aligned with the death and rebirth card, uh, trusting the mystery and understanding that you don't need to know it all in order to take the next step from, in order to move forward is a huge part of your death and rebirth process, your growth process, if you will. And remembering that as a Leo, you have an immense amount of strength within and you're an extreme inspiration to those around you when you sort of overcome these, uh, or not sort of, but when you overcome these obstacles that pop up in your way, in your path, as you strive confidently towards your uh, to completion of your goals uh, within your career and your finances and to allow yourself to continue to believe in everything that you're looking to achieve at this time. All right, so we're going to finish up this beautiful monthly read by pulling a small making magic card for my lovely Leos. Money and career for September, of course. Triple Spiral. Listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. So it's a month where you're truly uh, learning a lot of important lessons about oneself within that process of growth and healing and about what you deserve and desire within your life purpose and destiny as you truly, truly, excuse me, try to instill an immense amount of patience within oneself. All right, Leo. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to email me about booking a personal reading. Wishing you nothing but the best. Sending you love and light. Hope you have the most amazing month and I'll see you next time. Bye Leo.